Hi, Carm. This is for you. Um, you wanted to know how I mount the camera to the dashboard. Well, I use a GoPro in the car, so uh, the GoPro actually comes with a, a dashboard mount, and it has two sides. You know, you peel and stick it to the dashboard. But I didn't want to stick it onto my dashboard um, permanently like that. So what I did was I found one of these weighted bases. This one was from, I believe, a Garmin. Yeah, this is from a Garmin um, GPS. And the GoPro base fit on it perfectly. So I peeled and sticked it to the weighted base. And this I just have to lay on the dashboard because it doesn't go anywhere. It's, it's really heavy. It's got, like, I don't know, beans or something in there but it's heavy so I just put it on the dashboard and it stays the reason I didn't want to stick it to my dashboard was because I have the two different cars and this way I can just take it from car to car so the GoPro just is tiny and it just slips right into this uh, surround and goes on the dashboard perfect easy hi guys and happy Saturday I have a huge stack of box sets right here that we're going to look at today and um, a couple of my friends did box sets videos so I thought I would get in on that I actually had more box sets around <laughs> than I thought and uh, so let's jump right in because there's a lot so Carm did one of these and Vinyl Richie did one of these and uh, so here's my box sets <laughs> For them, I, I'm sure there's more, but these are the ones that were right here that I could get to real easily. All right, let's start out with seven inch. We have Joe Jackson, the man. I'm the man. On your radio, a lot of good stuff on here. Really, really fun. Great little box set. I got uh, Anarchy in the UK, Sex Pistols. This was a record store day release. It has all the uh, singles. Very, very fun. How many are in here? One, two, three, four, five. Five record set. Very fun. This is one of my favorites. This is uh, the uh, Mick Rock and Iggy Pop uh, metal box set. And what it is is a record, a book, photography by Mick Rock uh, of Iggy through the years really beautiful um, there's actually four in this series there's David Bowie Sid Barrett Iggy Pop and Glam uh, I would love to get the Bowie one I actually this one is all McRock photos of Iggy really beautiful and in here is blue vinyl beautiful blue vinyl copy of um, success and what is this? No, uh, yeah, success and the passenger. Really beautiful stuff. Love that set. I think I got this. Uh, I don't know if I got this on eBay or if I got it from Joe at Music Connection. Can't quite recall. All right. All right, 12 inch, we got a gift from a flower to a garden, Donovan, beautiful thing. Uh, two record set and book, or a little folder, whatever the heck is in here. Uh, yeah, okay, it's got uh, little sketches with the titles of the songs, really fun. I mean, with the lyrics to the songs, very cool. Um. The story of great music, the music of today. This has Boulay, Britain, Copeland, uh, Plank. This uh, has a lot of avant-garde, experimental, modern music. Basically, there is some um, electronic on here. It's a very, very beautiful set. Uh, this beautiful thing. This is Technicolor Paradise. And uh, this is Rum Rhapsodies and Other Exotic Delights. This is a one, two, this is a four record Exotica set. And um, it's just a beautiful thing. We have, actually it's a three record set and this book talking about the music. So really, really cool. Um, 
and the covers are just the covers on the uh, records are really cool really exotic are really fun look at that another um that's like the martin denny uh cover but a different position so probably from the same exact photo session <clears throat> this is a really cool one um i think i got this from i don't know if i got this on ebay or from uh the dionysus website because you know dionysus has a lot a lot of great um exotica uh new exotica oh i'm not gonna put it back in forget it okay um, oh, this is a favorite. 25th anniversary box. German Psychobilly Band Mad Sin. Look at the size of this box. It's really cool. This one is very exciting. This one is a German. I got this from Germany. Awesome, awesome thing. In here was so much cool stuff. We get a, a Mad Sin slip mat. Nice, thick slip mat. A belt. There was an all-access pass, which my skeleton is wearing out in the living room. You get a 7-inch here, and you get four LPs, four beautiful LPs. Look at that. Oh, my God. God, save the sin. Um, sweet and innocent, loud and dirty. Really great. They're a really cool looking band too. And we got Mad Sin, Dead Moon's Calling. Beautiful. And this beautiful thing, Survival of the Sickest. Look at that great album cover. One of my favorite bands. <laughs> really fun. So that is the 25th anniversary box from Mad Sin. Very cool of that sucker <laughs> all right we got a mirror at Purdue or Perdre. this is recommended by um, R. Crumb you know he's a great collector of um, early music and this one to love and to lose songs 1917 to 1934 uh, of course with the R. Crumb cover and uh, just a beautiful thing. This is uh, really crazy stuff. Um, for early music collectors, this is an absolute must in your library. Just a gorgeous thing. Another absolute must in any early music collector or any music collector's um, library. This is American Folk Music, Volume 4. Uh, rhythmic changes. This is the uh, Harry Smith um, sets. Now this one here, this isn't really a box set. I have all four volumes, but they're really all, this is kind of like a box, but it's not really. No, I shouldn't have brought this out. That's why I didn't bring the other ones, because they're really just heavy duty canvas gatefolds. So that's exactly what this is, just a beautiful heavy gatefold so all four volumes like are like that and I have all of those this one is cool when I reached that heavenly shore and this is unearthly black gospel from 1926 to 1936 very very beautiful and three LPs this was a record store day release one year this is really great I like the unearthly black gospel <laughs> I think that's cool Oh, this is such a beautiful thing. This is, um, this was a Bowie box set. Very unusual box set. Um, this is number 252 of 260. The Re uh, Regent Street. I don't know, I'm confused. Whatever. It says gem on the cover, on the box. And in here you get this envelope, right? And in the envelope is like a press kit okay a uh, press kit from back in the day really beautiful um stuff about bowie and uh discography and stuff like that and these amazing photographs look at these that one that one that 
this and this really beautiful stuff and they really do look like they're on photographic paper they're really beautiful and then there is an album in here of um uh, I forget what's on this it's early Bowie and I think it is um uh, hunky dory promo um alternative versions you know stuff like that the hunky dory which is and you can see that that is definitely the hunky dory bowie era bowie very cool that's a really cool set i got that from joe who's a connection i believe it it also uh, i don't know if it was a record store day or if it was just a special release after bowie died i think it was record store day then one of my favorite boxes this is a big massive box like Mac, uh, mad sin also this is Tom Waits Orphans. This is so beautiful. It's Brawlers, Ballers, and Bastards. This is so amazing. My brother gave me this uh, for Christmas one year. And it's just an amazing thing. Um, to, looks like, I don't know, there's just a ton of records in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven record set and a book. Just an amazing set. Look at that. Rollers, ballers, bastards, and bonus. So you get a bonus. Uh, baller, rollers, ballers, bastards are all two record sets as it is. Then you get a bonus record. Very cool. Really a beautiful, beautiful set. Tom Waits. Now... <laughs> All right, I have here uh, two little box things that are not exact, not records, but they're very, very cool. And they are, um, with uh, all of them are, is art by R. Crumb, one of my favorites. And here we have Pioneers of Country Music, a little box of cards with all the different um, Pioneers of Country Music, just R. Crumb's beautiful artwork. They're just amazing. Just gorgeous. Look at that. He absolutely loves the early music and it shows. So beautiful. Like the Carter family. The Lindock Roberts. Really great stuff. I mean, just gorgeous. Jimmy Rogers. So, that is... Uh, Pioneers of Country Music. Very beautiful little set, little box set. And Heroes of the Blues. Heroes of the Blues trading card. Cards by R. Crumb with text by Stephen Colt. <laughs> Complete set of 36 cards in Nifty Box. <laughs> So here we have Blues Legends, Peg Leg Howell, also, of course, uh, drawn by Crumb. And more. We have the classic, classic, let me see if I can find them, the classic uh, image of Robert Johnson that everyone knows. Here's Blind Willie Johnson, uh, Blind Lemon Jefferson. Where's Robert Johnson? Look at that. Bo, Bo Weevil Jackson. Beautiful. Furry Lewis. Furry Lewis, I believe he played with uh, Geechee Wiley back in the day. And uh, they do give you little facts and info on the back. Very cool. All right, where's our Robert Johnson? <laughs> Sleepy John Estes. Look at that. Um, and we got Big Bill Brunzi. Papa Charlie Jackson, Charlie Patton, the great Charlie Patton, one of my all-time favorites. We got Barbecue Bob, all the well-known artists are here. Blind Willie McTell, of course. We got Sun House, Memphis Mini, beautiful stuff. 
uh, Petey Wheatstra, another favorite of mine. And where is my Robert Johnson? I can't find him. Did I pass him by? These are so beautiful. They really, really are. I know Robert Johnson's in here. Uh, I one of these sets I got in. Uh, yeah, one of these came from. What's that store called? Barnes and Noble. And one of them came from uh, eBay. So I don't know um, if they're still out there. I can't find Robert Johnson. I don't know if they're still out there um, or not. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Johnson wasn't in here, but I'm sure that he was. Huh. Anyway, these are beautiful little sets. If you love our crumb and you love music and you love art in general, this is great. So that was the box sets. I have another box set on the way. It's a Joe Strummer box set. Uh, I ordered that from eBay this week, yesterday, I think. Very excited about that one. Of course, there's tons of three record sets out there that are not necessarily box sets. And those are kind of like box sets, you know what I mean? But they're not in a box. So that was the box sets. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I hope you're having a magical, mystical, musical Saturday. I uh, hope to be, maybe I'll be back with you tomorrow. I don't know. If not, have a beautiful Easter. Bona Pasqua. I love you all. Comment, subscribe, spread the love. Tink merch below. Radio Tink podcast below. Hope to do a new one today. I'll talk to you all later. Love you all. Mwah.